All right, so have you ever done the kip swing and you just feel like you're a fish out of the water and your body's just kind of moving all out of, out of the place and it kind of feels uncomfortable? Well, I wanna go over the proper way for you to do a kip swing. And the first thing that we're gonna do is start off is by having a bar that's the appropriate height for us. So a lot of times I'll see people get a, a bar that's too short for them and when they end up doing their kipping swings, they have their knees bent and they're not able to get the full effect of using their whole body. So make sure that you have a bar there where you have to uh, reach for it, all right? Um, or you might have to have like a, a small, like one or two jump uh, to get up to the bar, all right? So this will be a good bar from here, for me. And then from here, I don't wanna just be relaxed in my shoulders. I wanna have active shoulders. I wanna pull my shoulders down and then from here, I have my feet out in front. So I'm trying to be in what we call the hollow body position, um, or you can think of it like a banana shape or a crescent moon shape. So you should have your body making uh, almost a shape like this, okay? Then from, th from there, I'm going to use my chest um, to initiate the kip swings. So here's what we see a lot of times, is people come here and they're just flapping their legs all right, and their chest is staying static or it's not moving, all right? We wanna have our chest move, all right, and be active, and our legs are gonna be a byproduct of it, all right? So watch when I do it like this. The chest. Now, you'll notice as I do that, I'm bringing my head back behind my arms and then through my arms, all right? And I'm doing that with my chest, but I'm also using my hips to generate that power or that momentum for it. My legs are just a byproduct and they're staying straight the whole time. So one more time, over here. Like so. As I do this, I'm trying to use my toes to scrape the floor. Obviously, since I've jumped up to a bar that's one or two inches above, I'm not actually going to hit the floor, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to scrape the floor as I do that. So try those uh, tips next time you go to do kipping swings. Find a bar that's appropriate for you. Make sure you're active in your shoulders and in that hollow body position. Uh, initiate the kip swing with your, with your shoulders and your hips and not just your legs flapping around and then make sure that you're trying to lengthen your body or trying to scrape uh, the ground with your floors.